What are you doing here? Don't you know, the only sport legal in Victoria at the moment is um, tennis. Well, that's, I don't really care. That's, that's the sum it up, yeah, I don't really care. Okay, let's have a look. Let's go sit on the jab. What they're doing is morally wrong and they're destroying businesses, families, everything that they can without any regard and any liability. The only thing left to do is to say, oh, sorry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna follow your, your rules. We're in the five day lockdown. You've been running this, I understand, for a while. I've run it the whole time. Yeah, I haven't closed. We've actually gone all out to try and educate people as to what their rights are and how the government doesn't have the right to shut businesses down without accepting liability for those businesses. Think of all those uh, restaurants that have been shut down. We've got um, Valentine's Day, they've got all this food, and what are they going to do with it? Just throw it out? Are they going to be reimbursed for their losses? No. So um, I think people need to just stand up to them and say, no, no, unless you accept liability for all my losses, compensate me for my losses, um, and make restitution, there's no way that I'm not going to follow any obligation that's man-made to shut my business down. Plus, you see all these guys in here, they're, um, you know, this is good for their health, this is good for their life. People get depressed, you know. When they brought in the 5K rule last, uh, the first time, there were people that stopped coming in that, that were getting off drugs. Uh, and I work with them and I mentor them and I help them. And, and two of them ended up, I, I found out from other people, they're, they're back on drugs, right? So this is the sort of impacts that, you know, and people, people think, oh, well, you know, you should still follow the rules. If I didn't keep this open, I wouldn't have been able to pay my rent. I've got the rent here, I've got the rent at my house. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy. When we first started to, um, to fight back, no one was doing it. And now we're, um, you know, we, we see that people have seen that myself and, and a few others have, have, we're still here, we're still going, we're still opening our businesses. The fines aren't worth the paper that they're, that they're printed on. We hear that this lockdown may continue. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And the Supreme Leader can't guarantee us that it's ending on Wednesday night. I have a feeling Thursday morning, if it, ha if it does indeed continue, there may be a lot of Victorians outside of the 5Ks of here that are looking to get fit. What are the details? How do they sign up? What do they do? MMA Cranbourne, just look up MMA Cranbourne. You'll be able to find us there. For those that are a little bit nervous, should they bring a tennis racket just to be sure? Maybe, or maybe just put some fruit there at the front and say you're selling fruit. But uh, but I think I think the best thing is to be be honest and be what you are. Because basically you've got government officials that are hypocrites, right? Now if I know something's wrong, but I still go along with it, I become a hypocrite. I don't want to be a hypocrite, and they can't compel me to be a hypocrite. If I know something's wrong and I go along with it, I become a second witness to the lie, right? So I don't want to be a second witness to a lie. I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to lose my integrity out of fear. And the police, what are the police doing? They're going around causing fear in people. They want you to be scared. I mean, I had an interaction with the police, 22 police out the front, and a member of the DHHS. But we were able to, we, we, we had that, we won that battle. They left us alone because we, are, we knew our rights. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment, and share. Spread the love. Let the world see what's happening in Melbourne, Australia for the third time in a row. So if you're anywhere in the world and you think you're going into lockdown now and that's the end of it, look at Melbourne. And then don't forget to go to Rebel News on YouTube, subscribe and hit that little notification button so you don't miss a thing.